Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I wanna welcome you to another one of my videos. This video is my first official product review video for BCW Supplies. I've had the pleasure of partnering up with BCW for the next several months to review a handful of their amazing products. I have been a fan of BCW for a very long time. I've had their boxes tucked away in various closets for years. I've used various products, including the awesome comic book bins that have been in the back of my room here for the last several months. Today, we are going to review a new product that they have, which is the Graded Comic Book Bin. You guys may have seen this thing, you may have heard about it in my previous videos, but today, we are going to lay hands on this thing, we are going to assemble it, and we are going to talk a little bit about the features and the functionality that this bin offers. I hope you guys enjoy the video. This content is sponsored by BCW Supplies. Visit them at bcwsupplies.com for accessories to protect, store, and display your collectibles. So here we have BCW's graded comic book bin. This is the heavy duty bin. Pretty slick setup for this thing. I have the smaller ones, but this is the first time I'm getting a look at the graded version. Uh, the, this setup is pretty similar in the sense that it has the partitions that the smaller uh, version has, the snap together design, which I think is great, uh, index card holder so you can easily kind of identify the bins, uh, and they also have this great locking mechanism, which I'm a huge fan of. So let's go ahead and pop this thing open, take a look at these components. All right set of directions here, relatively straightforward directions. I think we can do this. And it looks like there's a tutorial as well, in case you need some help. All right, so it's one side, here's the other side. Here's the partition, we'll set that aside for the moment. There's uh, the walls for the two sides. You can see that's where the handle is, right there at the top. Another handle, so let's stack those together. And then here is the bottom. Smooth side faces in. All right, let's put this thing together. First thing we wanna do is snap on one of the side panels. The hand hold goes near the top where the, uh, the lid is kind of line this thing up here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Line it up and snap it into place. I don't like to snap it all the way down just because it allows me to manipulate the thing a little bit easier. So that's one side wall and one front facing wall. And now we're going to attach the other side wall here. Let's turn it around so you can see it here. Kind of line that up. Snap it into place a little. Things are relatively easy to put together. And again, I'm not snapping it all the way in. I wanna give myself some wiggle room to get the, uh, the base in. Smooth side faces in, the graded side faces out. So kind of position this thing towards the bottom here. Snap that in. So there are basically five teeth on the long side and then one short tooth on the short side. Just kind of snaps into place here. Again, I'm not snapping it fully into place just yet, but the, the base is now in. You can kind of see how it's two flaps, right? And then the base, you can see what that looks like there. So rotate it around, and we're gonna try to put the last side in place. And again, you have these uh, little teeth here. You basically just line these up with the corresponding piece, and you snap it in. So we'll line this up. That's one side, then 
here's the other. So everything is kind of sort of in place right now. And now what I'm gonna do is kind of close up all the gaps all the way around. Get everything fitting nice and tight. You can hear everything kind of snap into place there. Get these side walls. the graded comic book bin assembly close it up here everything lines up and now we are locked tight this thing is awesome and it is pretty darn sturdy all right have a stack of slabs here we are going to see how many we can fit inside Absolutely love the smaller version of this bin. And I have a feeling that I'm going to like the slab version of this bin as well. The assembly for both is relatively straightforward. Just takes a few moments to kind of get everything lined up and to get it all snapped into place and we are able to get a healthy number of slabbed books in here. Stand these up a little straighter. So what we have here right now is about 27 uh, slabs, a mixture of CGC and CBCS. There's uh, only four CBCS books in here right now, but I have a feeling that I could probably fit uh, a couple more books in here if I were just using uh, CBCS because their slabs are a little bit thinner than the uh, CGC cases. The box says that this can accommodate about 30 slabs, and I absolutely believe it. This is 27, again, a mixture of, of two different uh, third-party grading services. And so I feel like if you were using a a thinner slab you could actually fit more in here but uh, I'm definitely pleased with how uh, it's holding them how it looks and certainly how this thing feels in my hand in terms of its sturdiness overall definitely a pretty cool product so there you have it, a quick assembly and tutorial on the graded comic book bin from BCW. I've had these bins in the room here for a short period of time, but I absolutely love them. I have a lot more experience with the regular version, and here is one of them here. This one holds roughly 150 raw comics versus the 30 that can fit in the graded comic book bin, but both of these products are pretty solid. They're durable, they're stackable, and they have that amazing locking mechanism, which for me is a huge plus because I have two young children who like to join me here in the room, and I don't have to worry about them just opening the lid up and being able to grab a book because of the awesome locking mechanism that these two bins offer. If you guys have any questions about these products, be certain to enter them in the comment section and I will attempt to address them and answer them as best I can. As always, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Be sure to visit BCW Supplies to learn about their 950 plus products for collectors. Products include card sleeves, display cases, comic bags, storage boxes, and gaming folders just to name a few items. Head over to bcwsupplies.com today for more information.